What's up guys, I am Jordan from Brown Boy Sports and today we are going to be starting a new series, 6 Minute Sundays. Now on 6 Minute Sundays it's basically just going to be a 6 minute summary or something and uh, well yeah I only have 6 minutes to talk about so I might as well get started. As you can tell by the title I'm going to be naming the best player from each NBA team of all time. Let's go. The Atlanta Hawks. Okay, now this is going to be Dominique Wilkins. Now, Bob Pettit wasn't a horrible player, but I mean, he played in like the 50s. Who was good in the 50s? George Mike and Bob Cousy. Well, they really didn't have much skill back then, so that was it was much easier back then. Not everyone. That was like the days when everyone was white. So yeah, Dominique Wilkins, I'm picking for the Hawks. Boston Celtics, Bill Russell. He created the best dynasty of all time. Now, Larry Bird isn't a bad player at all. I do not think that at all. This one was probably going to be one of the most controversial ones, if not the sole most controversial. Uh, but Larry Bird was easily the better shooter and the better offensive player. But I truly think that because Bill Russell is the greatest defensive player of all time, and defense wins championships, as you can tell from his 11 rings, that is why I'm putting him as the Boston Celtics. Brooklyn Nets, as a Brooklyn Nets fan, this one was easy for me. Jason Kidd, he carried us to two championships by himself pretty much. That's all I need to say. I would say Julius Irving, but I'm not including the ABA. This is NBA only. So yeah, Charlotte Hornets, Larry Johnson, he played five years there and... He was just an undersized power forward, so yeah. Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time, no question. Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James, another easy one. Dallas Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki, no question. Now Denver Nuggets, this one can be a little controversial. There are three guys you can pick from. Alex English, Carmelo Anthony, or Dikembe Mutombo. And really, David Thompson, too. Dikembe Mutombo was all defense, so that's why I'm not picking him. Carmelo Anthony, although he was in his prime years with Denver, I don't think he did, really did... He, I think he also had a lot of prime years left with the Knicks. And, uh, yeah, Carmelo's just an all-offensive player. He has no defense, really, at all. So Car that's why I'm not picking Carmelo. And then David Thompson, he got into drugs and all that stuff, so that's why I'm not picking him. Alex English, a second-round pick. That's who I'm going with. Great offensive player and great defensive player. Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas, third greatest point guard of all time. One of the greatest passers and ball handlers of all time. Just six foot one. he was a great player. Golden State Warriors. In the future, it might be Kevin Durant or Stephen Curry, who knows, but right now it's Will Chamberlain. Second all-time in, in points per game, and first all-time in re rebounds per game. And then he likely would be in the top five for blocks per game, probably second only to Bill Russell. Houston Rockets, Hakeem Olajuwon, carried them to two championships. This, is, this was no trouble. Indiana Pacers, Reggie Miller, although Paul George had did do a lot for the Pacers, Reggie Miller played for them for 18 consecutive years without playing for another team. And he is probably the greatest three-point shooter of all time, if not second or third. L.A. Clippers, Bob McAdoo. He won an MVP in 1975. And, yeah, Bob McAdoo was just a great power forward. Uh, L.A. Lakers, Magic Johnson, greatest passer of all time. Uh, he won three MVPs. In my opinion, he should have won four. I think Jordan robbed him in 1988, but that's just my opinion. And, uh, well, anyways, guys, I'm just going to interrupt this video real quick. I'm going to be doing the most robbed MVP sometime soon, so I'll put the link in the description when it's up. Make sure you check that out when you can. But anyways, back to reality. Uh, the Lakers, Magic Johnson. Kobe's not bad, Kareem's not bad, but um, I just feel like that's the greatest passer of all time. And Magic Johnson, even though people say he had an advantage for being so tall compared to the rest of the point guards, I think it was a disadvantage because it's hard for you to be a lot faster and, you know, keep up with them and, like, steal the ball if you're so much taller than them. So, yeah. Memphis Grizzlies, Marcus Gasol. Pau Gasol is the better player, but Marcus Gasol had his prime with the Grizzlies. He's probably going to spend his whole career there. I think Pau Gasol was more of a Laker than he was a Grizzly. Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade, this was no problem. Milwaukee Bucks, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, no question. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Garnett, another super easy one. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I put Wade over LeBron for the Heat, Wade carried them to the 2006 championship, and he was the sidekick of 12-13. and 13. And even though LeBron carried was like the leader of the two, 2012-2013, I feel like he, since he only spent four years there, he, didn't, he wasn't as much as Dwayne Wade did. Uh, New Orleans Pelicans, well, or Horn is back then, Chris Paul. Uh, this wasn't really anything hard. 2008 was a great season for him. He was a good MVP candidate, so yeah. New York Knicks, Walt Frazier, one of the greatest defensive point guards of all time, if not the sole greatest. And, well, yeah, his defense is really what's here. He carried, he was, well, he didn't really carry them, but he was the leader for their two championships. Oklahoma City Thunder, Russell Westbrook. I would say Kevin Durant, but he doesn't even deserve to be a part of Thunder history anymore for what he did to them. Orlando Magic, Dwight Howard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why not Shaquille O'Neal? Well, Dwight played eight years, and he carried them to a championship by himself. And even though Dwight Howard is severely overrated, 
I feel like nobody gives him credit for what he did for the Magic. Philadelphia 76ers, Allen Iverson. Now, no, Julius Irving, actually. Allen Iverson did carry them in the 2001 championship, even though they lost there. But I feel like Julius Irving, Dr. J, was the greatest 76 of all time. All right, we got to hurry up. Phoenix Suns, Steve Nash, great one of the greatest passers and shooters of all time. Portland Trailblazers, Clyde the Glide, not Bill Walton because Clyde Drexler, I feel like he was just a better player. Sacramento Kings, Oscar Robertson, Mr. Tri the original Mr. Triple Double, uh, won an MVP in 1964, and he really could have won it in 62 as well. Uh, San Antonio Spurs, Tim Duncan, David Robinson's not a bad player, but Tim Duncan, I mean, come on, you can't put anyone over him. Toronto Raptors, Vince Carter, That was this was no problem. Chris Bosh probably second him. Utah Jazz, Carl Malone. I feel like as the second highest scorer of all time, he deserves it over Stockton. And the Washington Wizards, Elvin Hayes. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.